Hunter, the time has come. Let us progress. Hey everybody, this is the Gaming Dragon, and welcome back to The Legend of Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon. Last time, we escaped the catacombs and made our way through this entrance to the Enchanted Forest, which you can see right behind us. It is time now to enter said Enchanted Forest and see what horrors await us there, I suppose. Go. Tell Ignitus I have found them. Ugh, it's no use. Well, maybe if we try twisting it. Twist what? It's magic. <laughs> I can watch this all day. The Dark Master. He's returned, hasn't he? I'm afraid so. Just shortly after your disappearance, he struck quickly, fueled by hatred and malice, reclaiming the throne at the temple, which, through some dark magic, he now suspends above the land. A symbol of his dominance. We've been at war ever since, and every day his forces grow stronger, and ours lose hope. They failed. They were all counting on me, and I failed. How could I let this happen? Some things are beyond your control. You shouldn't blame yourself. Spyro, you are lucky to be alive. All of you. That was no ordinary creature back there. It was an ancient earth golem from the deep. They are the embodiment of destruction summoned by Malifor himself. These are dark times. He needs to be stopped. I have to stop him. Whoa, 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 slow down, tough guy. You don't need to go around picking fights. I mean, we just woke up after being frozen for three years. I got stuff to do. What the? Is she sleepy? Hey! No! And you thought we were going to the Enchanted Forest. such little respect for our laws that you form an alliance with the very ones who caused all our misfortunes. Chief Prowlis, Malifor, he alone is the one responsible. This dragon is our last hope. You must see that. Yes, yes, the purple dragon. I know this story, but unlike you, I have not forgotten what they say Malifor was like when he was young, and I have not forgotten either what she has done. I relied on you, Hunter, as I must rely on all of us in this village to protect it. But you chose to abandon us and bring the dangers of the outside world with you when you returned. The dangers are already around us. Don't pretend to ignore them. Hey, can't you guys just stop arguing? It's getting awkward for everybody. Rublin! In the valley! Repair your weapons! See what you've done? But let us go. We can help. Our warriors can handle this. <laughs> now is not the time to be stubborn. Hey, a lot of weird stuff happens when they get upset. I'd listen to them if I were you. Listening to a dragonfly. He truly is the, the leader of this village. Time to protect the village! Kia! <laughs> I 
I like to do this little jump where you just kind of jump in the air while breathing fire. It's kind of fun. Wee! 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 And despite my very. Uh, there's that. Uh, despite my very lighthearted tone at this, I'm not gonna lie, this fight is really hard. Using Cinder for her for her being a giant shotgun is your saving grace in a lot of the bigger fights. Which is one of the main reasons why I say you want to upgrade Fear, because Fear just makes Cinder even more of a powerful shotgun. Blue Dragons! Yes, we are saved! Woo! Ah, those are the dragons! We are all gonna die! <laughs> Those are definitely not dragons. I'm not sure exactly what these enemies in particular are called. Let me tell you, they hit hard, and they do not like being shotgunned with fear. You got it. You are not even the one who's fighting right now. Just die already. <laughs> Poor Hunter. He's still he's still locked up over there. Okay, that's it. Is everyone all right? No. Meadow is missing. He had gone upstream to search for herbs this morning and has not returned. You see fit, but Hunter stays here. However, if you remain true to your word and come back with Meadow, I may reconsider. Don't bother returning before then, as you'll likely succeed only in attracting more grublins to our village. Okay, I see you. Yeah, we only have like two houses left. I don't think these three houses, or technically two houses, get burned. 
I think it's only these ones. So yeah, I think we only have like two houses left before like we lost the fight. That's uh pretty intense. So hey, we get some uh crystals to rejuvenate our mana, which is nice. And I think I saw a thing. Oh, come on. You telling me I can't come over here? Through that at the very least. Duh. I'm so glad I can see. Okay, I think that's everything over there. This, the Valley of Avalar, is humongous. This is like the closest you're gonna get in this game to open world. I think most of the time when you see like these orange puffs, you're more than likely gonna find like enemies nearby or something, I think. I don't remember. Another life jewel. There is another crystal over here. Get that. Spyro's lacking in experience. Let's climb up here. And I do believe there is, aha, Cinder, C Cinder, yeah, there she is. Back all that open and the lowly pix, very badly pixelated tree is in the way. I'm getting armor for Cinder. This is some bracers that regenerate mana. You can't even really tell that she has these on because she already has like stuff on her wrists, the shackles on her wrists anyways. So I guess you might as well just keep these on. I'm gonna keep them on anyways. Can't even tell she's wearing them. And Cinder being able to regenerate mana when she's already a shotgun enough as it is, is just... That's... It's really good. So, I'm gonna just do that. A little cave back here. Something tells me that we just found this meadow character. It's a trap. Because of course it is. I didn't get the chance to show this off. Now that a lot of Spyro and Cinder's abilities are now upgraded, you can now press the C button on your nunchucks. Or nunchuck. The C button allows you to use the secondary ability of elemental powers. For fire, it is called the Comet Dash. And these enemies, they have uh, these axes. They really like to block with those axes, so... You can make them drop their axe, as you can see here. Well, it disappeared now. Let's see. Sprouse Ice Ability can now do this icy tornado. Let's see, Earth is now. That takes a lot of mana. Wow. Sparrow's got like a big shotgun blast of his own now. Electricity also uses a hell of a lot of mana. Alright, Cinder. Wow, I can't... 
<laughs> if you want to end a fight, just use Cinder. Spiral. Sp okay. <laughs> just use Cinder and just shoot everything with fear. Just destroy everything with fear. There's a reason why Cinder was so feared back in the previous, in the very first game. Thank you, friends. You saved my life. Finally, some gratitude. You're welcome. You've met Chief Prowlis, no doubt. Not all of us are of the same mind. Well, that's putting it mildly, isn't it? Can you move? We need to get you out of here. I'm sorry. I'm afraid my leg is broken. Just go back to the village and tell them where I am. Your leader doesn't trust us. If we return without you, he'll likely assume the worst. Yeah, and blame us for it. Oh, the fool. I understand. There is a raft at the far end of the valley. If you could bring it here, perhaps I could pull myself onto it. Okay, we'll do it. To launch it, you'll need the weights from the supply cave, but it's locked. Oh, that figures. There is a hermit who lives beneath the waterfall at the other end of the valley. He has a key, but the cave is hidden. Look for the markings on the wall to open the path. Oh, easy. Uh, raft, cave, a baba, a river, and a hmm. Got it. Yes. We'll come back for you. I promise. Of course, we act we're going to leave, but then we turn right back around to grab a brand new piece of armor, which I think is for Spyro. Yep. No. This is for Cinder, isn't it? Yeah, I think this one's for Cinder, actually. Yep, actually, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. New play of armor for Cinder. What does that do? Wounds attacking enemies. If enemies attack Cinder, then they take damage. Which is, again, really nice. Oh my god, I forgot flying in this cave is stupid. Uh, it's nice if you don't mind... Thank you, loading screen. If you don't mind wearing the armor, go right ahead. Be my guest. I don't prefer it, so I choose not to. Except for when, you know... It doesn't really look like much has changed. Oh, we got some enemies over here. Cinder's new ability. Pressing the C button when fear has been upgraded does... What is this one called? I forgot what this is called, but it shoots these little orbs of fear and they're homing. They home on enemies, and they deal a lot of damage. If Cinder's fear wasn't as wasn't a shotgun blast enough as it is, having a homing shotgun blast? Yes, please. I think you can see how Cinder can be a little OP. Can be a little broken sometimes. the music in this place. It's very peaceful. It's very relaxing. I think if we climb up here... Okay. I... Okay, how do I do that again? Playing with all the tutorials is kind of annoying, because I don't remember how to do any of the stuff that I'm supposed to be able to do. <laughs> Uh, give me one second. Of course. It's the same button that- for everything that it is. Because, of course, because the- the Wii remote doesn't have about a gazillion buttons on it, and they couldn't just assign a different button to it, of course. <sighs> These scrape marks mean it's a wall running spot. Press the A button to jump off the ledge, and then press A and B together 
to wall run. But of course, there is another mini boss up here. Oh god. Oh, he does half a health. I want to try to grab that. Spyro's health has increased. You can see you're supposed to wall run on this, but I didn't. Because... Do I look like I care? Oh god. Actually, you know what? This will be a perfect opportunity for me to explain this. These enemies, you can't really damage them. You can only damage them once their mask has come off. How do you get their mask off? Well, again, you have to just do enough damage to hopefully... Ow. To hopefully be able to remove the mask. Ow. But... But I can also die. I love not having played this game in a million years. Oh, this one has a red mask. Oh my god. I'll handle this. Switch over to... Oh my god, Cinder. Oh, there was the mask. D you can see how powerful Cinder's Fear Blast is. And I died again. <laughs> you can see how powerful that Fear Blast is. It did so much damage in that short amount of time that the mask came off. Pardon me while I readjust myself in my chair and also climb all the way back up to the top here to try to challenge him again. Okay, let's walk over to Spyro. And I can press the... the two button to show you that this is where you keep your objectives. I did not mean to press that button. That was an accident. <laughs> Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Cinder, no! Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I can't take him down. <laughs> I'm still not strong enough. No. No. Ah. Okay, well, I thought at the very least I would give it a try. Maybe some other time. Now there was something I was gonna talk about while fighting that guy, but um, I'm a stupid dum-dum. Just making sure y'all know that. 
And so, uh, we're not gonna be talking about it in this episode. Don't worry, we're gonna talk about it soon. Just not yet. Or maybe we are talking about it this episode. Hold on. Screw you, enemies. Uh, we're going back up to the sky. I can hear you guys now. Dragon, give up. You've already tried how many times? Just, just surrender already. And I soon to you, I say, never. Oh, he's got a yellow mask again. Perfect. Where's Cinder? Why is she all the way down here? This is also a good opportunity for me to tell you that whoever you're not controlling, either Spyro or Cinder, will never take damage unless you are controlling them. They cannot die. Let's switch over to Cinder's. Shotgun of Fury. <gasps> oh my god. There we are, the mask is off. Now, press the Z and C buttons together. one of two ways, but technically only fills up in technically only one way. And that is by beating the crap out of enemies. Once either Spyro, Cinder, or a combination of both has beaten the crap out of enough enemies you can die. Still. I really just need to give up the ghosts. <laughs> okay, okay. I got to show off the thing I wanted to show off. Fury mode. Once you've beaten up enough enemies, um, either via Spyro Cinder or both, the gauge in the middle of the top middle of the screen, right there, as it is filled up again because we died, <laughs> um, it allows you to use... Spyro and Cinder's, well, technically unnamed element for, for, I was gonna say unlimited amount of time, but that's not what I meant by, that's not what I mean by that. What I mean by unlimited is that the amount of mana is of no consequence. You don't need to uh, worry about how much mana you're using. I hate these guys. I don't need to worry about how much mana you're using. It will always just be the same. You know what? Let's show it again. This time on enemies we can actually defeat. It 
It's a big laser of death. Uh, did we kill them all already? Damn. Uh, well, I guess that shows you how well it works. <laughs> it may not be pottery. But it also doesn't give you experience, so I mean, it's definitely not pottery. <laughs> yeah, the big old laser beam of death. Technically, it's unnamed in the games, but the fan community has dubbed it Ether. And we need a thing to activate this. A thing which we do not have. Hey, we made it over here. There are a lot, and I do mean a lot, of gems here for you to collect. So many collectibles. This by far has, I think, the most collectibles in it. And this is only the third chapter of the game. And you already have this many collectibles. It's crazy how many there are in just this one area alone. How do I get up here? I think you have to fly... Hmm. Flying from up on the waterfall might be a good place to get up there. Oh. Uh, I think I'm going to do this waterfall real quick, and then... Oh, wait. It's right here. Get up here. And there is another piece of armor up here for us. Cinder. Cinder. Cinder! Okay, there we go. Ooh. I think that's, that's, pretty sure that's for Spyro, thanks to the spikes on top. Yep, that is for Spyro. Let's end this episode off by checking out the armor for Spyro. This increases Spyro's defense. How great that we got this after I died like five times. <laughs> well, anyways... I think I'm gonna end this episode off here. So next time on The Legend of Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon, we're gonna continue through the Valley of Avalar and co- Spyro. And collect as many collectibles as we can. And also try to find that hermit that we're supposed to find. That is the wrong button. I do apologize. This is the correct button. Find the hermit. Let's see if we can do that. I'll see you guys then.